Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how to create a John Galliano inspired beauty image using up to three lights and a little bit of creativity. But first, let's talk about concept. In 2009, John Galliano had a fashion show which was inspired by Eastern European folklore tales. I was drawn to his collection and wanted to create my own interpretation of it. So I put together a style team which helped me with styling, makeup, and looks. We decided to keep everything nude and neutral so that way we can play up with the accessories and make it more about the makeup and the emotion of the photo. So we chose a nude backdrop, nude clothing, and the model's skin tone was very pale, which tied the whole look together. When shooting, it can be difficult sometimes to see all the small details on the back of the screen. So I like to shoot into Capture One. It lets me view all the photos as they come in directly from the camera onto my Mac laptop. And I can see all the small details and adjust anything accordingly. For this light setup, I used one light. I wanted to make it very dark and moody, so I used a cross light technique. I positioned the light to the left of my subject to create more shadows. I used a beauty dish with a 40 inch grid on it to create more of a harsher light and to keep the light from spilling everywhere. I positioned the light directly above her head to make sure that we chiseled out her cheekbones and her jawline. I added a second light behind her to soften the whole image. I gave her some tool to make her feel a little bit more dreamier. The light from behind highlighted her silhouette and gave her a nice, soft rim light, which made her stand out from the backdrop. And if you're wondering about the backdrop being lit up, it's from the beauty dish that we repositioned directly in front of her to spill onto the backdrop. Finally, I added the third light. I wanted to minimize all of the shadows in the photo, so I positioned it directly onto the backdrop. And if you're wondering what kind of equipment I was using, I was using a Sony Alpha 7R3 with a 90 millimeter macro lens. And if you guys wanna see more behind the scenes and images from the shoot, please feel free to visit my website, edwintorres.me.